Hello my YouTube family. I hope you're doing really great today. I have actually created this new makeup look of a smoky eye. It's not really something that I'm used to doing. I think that's one of my weaknesses, just like contouring actually. Smoky eyes, contouring, and possibly even blush. It's something that I really want to work at. Uh, but looking at it on the camera, I'm actually really impressed. I think I did all right. So you'll see, I'll be posting a video shortly uh, of how I created this look. And also um, I'm posting videos about how to contour, like different techniques or, you know, past experiences, tips and tricks that people have told me to sort of help with my contouring. Now, my contouring is not the same as your contouring, okay? Because our faces are different and we're going to end up with different looks. But it's okay to watch somebody else and sort of use what you think from that person, which could be useful for you. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm just so excited. Also, I'm here to share with you guys that I got myself a new package today. You know I love sharing new packages that have arrived and what goodies I've got. So I think it's just one eyeshadow palette. I've got a couple more coming. In fact, there's more than a couple more, but um, I don't want to get you guys like overexcited and then, um, you know, I don't show them, but I'm going to do everything I can to show you what makeup I've got on the way. Let's open this box up. I love this sort of thing. Unboxing with you guys is just so much fun. And I also have to make sure that I'm really careful as well because it says it's fragile. And obviously I don't wanna, you know, get too excited that I break through the box and other things. What does it feel like when you guys receive packages? Do you feel like it's Christmas? You know, where you're just opening presents all over again. Plus I wash my hair. I think one of you had mentioned that my hair is different and new. It's the same, but I am going to let you guys know that at the end of June, I actually have an appointment for my hair booked and it's going to be a different color. I'm not gonna tell you what, guy, what color it's, it is, but you'll see, it'll be a surprise and I hope you like it as much as I like it. Obviously once it's done, I can't change it for a while. So I'll just have to enjoy it, whatever color I choose. And whatever color I choose, you'll have to enjoy watching me with my hair like that. <laughs> All right, let's get into this box. So I believe it's one of the palettes that was selling out really quick. And because of that, I just thought, you know what? I gotta get my hands on it. It looks gorgeous. It's got beautiful bright colors, which is funny because today I chose to do a smoky eye with dark um, cool tones, but I'm just trying to be a little bit more open to different things. You know, I'm really challenging myself here. With all those little pieces of foam. Love that. <laughs> anyway, this is called, once I get it open properly, I'm just gonna use my scissors. I cannot just use my fingers. Oh my gosh, so cute. This is the Macron Magic palette by Amoras. They are a great band excuse me, they're a great brand is what I'm trying to say. I can't edit this video. So if I make any mistakes, it's I'm transparent. I make mistakes all the time. So this is by, the Mac, by Amoras and oh my God, I love their palettes. They're so pretty. And this one, when I found out that it was back in stock cause I had actually, you know, asked them to notify me when it came back, I just thought, yeah, I'm getting it. I'm not holding back on this one. I gotta get it, add it to my collection and obviously use it in the future. When it comes to eyeshadow palettes, what do you guys like to use? Do you have any particular that you'll just use only, you know, that's it. Once you buy it, that's it. That's all you're gonna use. Or are you a bit like me and you're attracted to shiny new things? I know, what do they call it? The shiny syndrome or something? Whenever there's a new colorful glittery palette out, I've 
got to get my hands on it. Oh, I also found out that the Beauty Creations Glitter Splash Palette, the number one is still available. Number two isn't at the moment, but I think it might come back. I do know at least number one is out. I was thinking that both of them were gone and it was making me really sad because I really wanted to buy more of those and I actually have the number one version on the way because it's just got the best pressed glitter ever. Okay, so getting off track here. This is the gorgeous Macaron Magic Eyeshadow Palette. I mean, look at the shade. I love, I love, I love, I love. Like it would definitely match the lips that I have today, my lip color. Okay, so you guys know, I've talked to you about the palettes that I have received you know, this month, and I wanna go over them again with you, what to look forward to. So, we've got Exino Cosmetics, the Mermaid Palette, the, Dra <laughs> the Daydream Palette, excuse me, I think it's just because I'm tired. The Daydream Palette, this is something that um, my beautiful friend, Terra, and some of you guys are, Subscribe to my channel because of her, because she mentioned um, to check out my YouTube channel and join me. Hopefully I have reached your expectations and you feel positive and happy in this channel or you know, being part of my channel. Anyway, she created this and I'm so excited to try it. And she said to me, make sure you tag me when you do because you know, it is really special to her. Enchanted Sky is the other uh, Amore Us palette. So look at the difference. So you've got Enchanted Sky, really dark sort of, would you call it like a darker pink? And then the other one's more like pastel-y colors. It's so pretty, love it. Um, so yeah, I do have palettes by Amore Us already. And then Lorella Cosmetics. Oh my God, I just love these. So pretty, this love struck and the piece of paper is deciding to come out as well. Um, right, stay in there, please. I need you. Has a mirror in it. Love that. Not going to show you. Some of these, I just want you to be excited for me. Like, just tell me, I want to see this palette. Show me what it looks like on your face. Excuse me, palette. So pretty. On the edge. Oh, I love the shades in this one. The Midnight one. This is by Beauty Bay. And they just have an incredible choice of shades. And then more of a green, I think it's like a more warm tone palette, green and green and goldy shades in this one. In love. So anyway, if there's anything here that you think, I want to see that palette on your face, I want you to play with it, please tell me because it's fun. For me to be motivated and create makeup looks for you guys on top of that i'm also teaching myself how to better my makeup skills as i said with my contouring working with i think brows would be another video so if you want me to do a video talking about brows and how to do them i tell you what it was not the first makeup thing i ever did for the longest time, I never did my brows. I didn't think they were important, but I really do know how important they are. Framing, framing the face when you're doing makeup. Honestly, I think this is a sign that I need to go to bed, but I had to share that with you. So excited, love all the palettes that I have. And obviously I have more, but these are the ones that have recently come. I think I've got actually eight coming. So, you know, I'm not done. I got more, more on the way. I'm addicted to them. I love them because they're such a great way to learn. And eyeshadows should be something that you, you know, you treasure, you really love. So yeah, anyway, if you're interested to know anything to do with brows, anything to do with lashes, bronzing, highlighting, that's what I want to do videos on. I want to like have videos that are more specific about how people would apply highlight like what sort of areas would you apply highlight what would you do with brows 
if you're not used to doing your brows for the first time why does it help to contour all that sort of stuff so please tell me and then um you know that gives me something to work towards also getting off the topic of makeup for a second i do know that you guys might be interested in my backstory some of you don't actually know who i am you've come to my channel thinking oh she's just a makeup lover which i am and a makeup artist and a mother i am but you may be interested to know how i started to become who i am what did i do way before I became a mother and I'd be happy to share some of that information with you and it, it may be even you know some of you out there are watching and you're single and you want to know what is it like to be in a relationship what is it like to be a mother because this is all very new for you you've never considered something like that is it scary are there any challenges no the no it's not scary but there are certainly things um, to consider when you do get into a relationship. There are things to consider when you do have a child. Is it worth it? Absolutely, 100% and more. It's so worth, like the life I have, I wouldn't trade it or change it for anybody's. I'm so in love with my life, it's amazing. And I tell you what, what I'm definitely looking forward to is more traveling. I love to learn about different cultures and experience different types of food, be with different people, learn about what it is that makes them who they are. Because when I travel, there's just something lights up inside of me. Like I'm connected to knowing something I didn't know before about people. Just love it. Anyway, you guys have a great rest of the week because you absolutely deserve it. And I will be posting some proper videos that are edited where I'm not making so many mistakes about what I say because honestly that's why editing is good for me because sometimes I get excited and I stumble over my words. I'm human, okay? And whether it's, it could be excitement actually, it could be that I'm tired. It depends on what comes first. And um, I feel silly that I make mistakes, but I can't beat myself up about it because everybody does. You just get over it and people accept you for who you are. And as long as you accept you for who you are, that's all that matters. Love you. I'll see you soon.